What's going on YouTube? K-Rob here bringing you chapter 270 of Blue Lock. Thank y'all so much for all the love and support y'all have been showing me on this channel and on this series. Without y'all, none of this would even be possible. But we have some catching up to do y'all. So anyways, thank y'all so much. Let's jump right into Blue Lock. All right, y'all, chapter 270. Out for blood, the Berserker suddenly emerges and single-handedly stops Bastard's attack. As the action swings in the other direction, witness the beginning of the destruction he is about to unleash. And we got Licky Mode Ren, bruh. Oh my. This, like, these next couple of chapters of Ren is going to be phenomenal, I feel like. Like, this is the Ren that I want to see. I want to see that Ren who, who got that seal on him. Just, that seal needs to wear off and he needs to go berserk, go ballistic. Oi, Var! Get your shit together! That was a fucking foul! No. Ren got the ball first, so Var won't call it. Bring out the best of his prey before destroying them. It's coming. Rini Toshi's top gear. <laughs> hey, 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 Raichi. Raichi, what you gonna do, bro? What you gonna do? You one of the best defenders on this Bastion Munich team, bro. Because all the other defenders, they NPCs, bro. I gotta see something. Do like, you might not be able to do anything against Rin right here, especially in this mode he's in. But hey, bro, at least try, bro. Try something. Oh, hold up. Okay, Raichi. Okay, Raichi, hold on. But he's but look, Ren is locked in, bro. Look at him, he's too locked in. He swats away the hand. This is good D though. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit here and act like this is not good defense on, on a Ren that's like on his way to his top performance. This right here is good defense, dude. This is good defense. It is it's who's this behind them? Oh wait, this is is this Kiora? Oh okay, but wait, I'ma give it to Raichi though. Raichi gave gave himself enough time to get help from Kiora so Ren can pass it off. Okay, that that works. Get the ball out of, get the ball away from Ren. I'm cool with this, I'm cool with this. And it goes to Nanase. Oh, but it, see, that's what I'm saying, bro. It freed up Ren, so I'm not, I can't blame Raichi too much. I just wish like they gave Raichi like a steal though. Like his defense is actually really, really good, y'all. I don't know why Kaneshiro does that though. Like give, give Raichi a, a steal or something but they but he's not gonna let that happen against Ren for sure like he's not gonna let that happen especially right now because Ren is in like a he's in his development phase you feel me so they're not gonna let that happen oh look okay wait we got Hiori in the mix too Hiori versus Ren bro this Ren is about Ren is about to burn Hiori I I, I can already tell dude need I say more bro look at this man what? He didn't even get a chance to react, bro. Like, he didn't even give Yori time. <laughs> he just... <laughs> he gave... He gave more time to Raichi. Like, <laughs> insane. His concentration's gotten even sharper. All right, Isagi, let's see, bro. Not doing anything that would stop him or the boss momentum. A counterattack maximizing his skill and link-up play with Nanase. Wrecking destruction with no wasted movements. <laughs> Since Rin is always hyper aware of my movements, the more the game becomes centered around me. I see. The easier it is for him to read everyone's movements. Working better when his opponents are limited, performing better in uncomfortable and restrictive situations, that means Rin's got a restrictive mindset. And unlike Kaiser, who began to play better once he stopped being obsessed with me, the more Rin focuses on me, the sharper his concentration gets. An individualistic egoist. I think I figured out Rin's ego type, his overall mindset. So he's an individualistic restrictive type. Now that I figured that out, the next step is to find a way to stop this weirdo. It's like that time against the U20s. Dude, this man Ren is locked, dude. Drawing out his opponent's strengths before turning those strengths against them. A very hideous way of destroying his opponents. That's it. More. Give me more. Keep coming at me, you insignificant side characters. How the hell do I stop him? The situation is entirely different from the U20s match. Back then, the U20s had Sai, who managed to force his version of Rin into a virtual stalemate. But right now, there's no one currently on the field that's capable of shutting down Rin in his current state. Oh my god. Look at this, bro. This man is unstoppable right now. That means I've got no choice but to play the Itoshi Sai role and shut down Rin. Am I even capable of doing this? No, I have to do this. Come, Isagi. Come at me with everything you got. You're gonna win, right? You're gonna become that, right? I'm gonna be the best player in the world. Bro, look at this panel, bro. <laughs> bro, they're both bumping into each other like this. Oh my god. Look at my man Gagamaru waiting, dude. Come on, Gagamaru. Lock it, too, bro. 
Isagi and Gagamaru. That I'm not gonna lie, bro. This might this might be a goal. This might not be a goal. But hey, bro, Gagamaru, show time to shine, dog. This man Isagi is putting that pressure on on Ren, dude. So he he probably gonna make this goal a little bit hard for Ren. So Gagamaru, hey man, we just gotta put our faith in you right now. Oh wait, it's a f oh it's a flashback. Bushu gao. This man destroying his uh his toys. Bam, 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 kaboom. Yo, he drew it like how he does when he has his tongue out and stuff. When he goes into his little berserk mode. Ugh. Ah, oh, jeez. You're drooling again, Rin. <gasps> Little Sai. Oh, my goodness. Are you having that much fun? Yup. Ah, oh, Rin, you broke it. Unlike us, toys don't bleed. But unlike us, toys don't get fixed if they break. I know. I'm sorry. Do you think they'll be angry? Mom and Dad. Will they worry? Hmm. Hmm. Wanna get some ice cream? Yum. Yes. Did you win? Nope. Don't worry, Rin. Until the day I die, I will. Always be your ally. <gasps> bro, and, he, and my man Isagi hit the little shoulder. <laughs> bro, this is the same thing that Sai did to Isagi in the U20 match, dude. He just did it to Rin. Oh, so he's really becoming Sai. Like, <laughs> this is beautiful. Wait, this is cinema, bro. This is cinema. Ugh. Amid the tense battle, Rin remembers the good times with his brother. As Rin remembers how kind Sai was towards him, Rin's ego begins to unravel. My ego, bro. I was not. A, this is a. This is a powerful panel, bro. This is a powerful panel right here, dude. And the next chapter is called "Life Is Beautiful." So. I think they're gonna play on more to um, the flashback. So this whole panel here when he was destroying his toys, this is literally like, he's been doing this since birth. Like he's been on that destructive type since birth, bro. This is a battlefield to him. This, like, this isn't just football to Ren, dude. This is like, he is fighting. Like he is fighting for his life, bro. He is a destructive person. Then Sai said, until the day I die, I will always be your ally. And it shows Isaki. How can you not tell me this is not peak, bro? You cannot tell me this is not cinema. This, like, bro, Kaneshiro, what, what are you cooking? What? You are cooking. This next chapter is going to be hard. I know for a fact it's going to be hard. Here's what I'm thinking. Rin is the type. He's a, he's a destructive type of person, right? He is going to try his best to break this man Isagi, but he won't be able to. And can we talk about how strong Isagi has gotten to, to even pull this off? Like, bro. What? I would have never thought Isagi would try to pull a Sai Toshi. <laughs> like this, this is crazy. This just shows you how far Isagi has come in terms of strength. The, like these two are complete yin and yang, bro. Ren is gonna try his best to break Isagi. Isagi's not gonna let that happen. Uh, the more Ren tries to break Isagi, the more like they're just gonna they're just gonna bump heads, bro. It's yin and yang with these two, you know. So. Isagi's not gonna roll over easily, and I think that's what's gonna bring Ren to his top performance is the fact that he's gonna keep trying and trying and trying to break Isagi, but it's just not going to happen. Do I see Ren scoring in the next chapter? Probably not, probably in two chapters. This move right here kind of looks like he's off balance, and I don't know how good Ren, I, I, I can't remember if Ren is good with off balance shots like these, so. I'm going to assume this won't be a goal. We might see a Rin goal and like, let's 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 do like a another flashback chapter and then a goal. You know what I'm saying? Like two chapters in, you feel me? Or I don't know, maybe he will score. I don't know, bro. You feel me? I'm just I'm just making making a guess here. Isagi figured out Rin's ego type. Um, Isagi figured out also that he has to take on the role of Sai because Isagi figured out that that's where the stalemate happened when Sai went up against Rin in the U20 match, so the stalemate with Rin happened there, and he's like, okay, that's probably a way that we can stop Rin, <laughs> is uh, me taking the role of his older brother. That's basically like the whole chapter, bro. The whole chapter was Isagi figuring out a way to stop Rin and figure out his ego type. So this was a W chapter, bro. I'm not gonna lie, W chapter. We saw a little bit of the flashback too. Uh, saw how little Sai and little Rin 
acted with each other. Sai was a was a was a really good brother until like he had to go and leave and leave Rin behind and everything like that, you know? I hate to be that person to bring in other animes in comparison, but this kind of reminds me of Sasuke and Itachi in a way, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just just the dynamics are there, you feel me? I don't know. I could be tweaking, you know what I'm saying? Let me know if I'm capping in the comments, bro. Like, I, I just get a vibe of Sasuke and Itachi from these two. I just had another thought, too. This is a monster, right? And it's it's perfectly, like, it's destroying the heck out of this, whatever he got in his hand right here, this other toy. This monster? What if this is, like, a, a symbolism of Rin? Like, how Ren is very destructive, how he likes to des destroy his opponents and everything like that. And the fact that he won't be able to do that with Isagi is going to kill him because he's so used to destroying things, destroying toys and everything like that. Like his brother too, like destroying, like he couldn't even beat his brother. And, and that's going to, and that bothers Ren so much, bro. That bothers him, dude. So I don't know. I could be reaching, I, I might be thinking of it wrong, bro, but that's just how I feel about Ren right now. Ren is like a, he's, he's, a, he's been a destructive kid, bro. He's been destructive since birth, as, as it seems here, y'all. You, you know what I'm saying? This, this dude got a hot limit, a hot limit hoodie on. Like, this is just screaming a destructive child, bro. And he's drooling at the mouth too, bro. <laughs> Nah, Ren is funny, bro. Well, there you have it, y'all. Chapter 270 of Blue Lock. If y'all did enjoy the chapter, please do like, share, and subscribe, bro. Like I said before, I apologize for the late upload. My PC died, y'all, but we did get a new power supply for the PC, so we should be all good, all set. So thank y'all so much for being patient with me. I appreciate y'all so much. Let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on this chapter. Stay cheerful, stay motivated, and stay blessed, y'all. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one.